As Scouts, we take care of uh, Polish traditions to remember all the heroes who died in the war for us. We're here in Silverburn Park with 147 Scouts to commemorate General Sosabowski and the first independent parachute brigade. We'll be hiking to Largo House, which is along the coast, and this was part of the training road for the parachute brigade so they can get ready for the long distances that they would have to go during the war. Ponad dwa lata temu, odwiedzając miejsca związane z historią pierwszej niezależnej brygady spadochronowej, spotkałem polskich żołnierzy, jednostki Grom oraz szóstej brygady Pyszne do Sątowie, odwiedzających miejsca związane z historią pierwszej niezależnej brygady spadochronowej. Spotkałem też wielu Szkotów mieszkających w tych miejscach, którzy pamiętali te czasy, kiedy stacjonowali tu polscy żołnierze. To wszystko było taką iskrą, takim sygnałem, żeby zbudować miejsce, pewne obchody, pewne uroczystości, które w nas służyły takiej kulturze pamięci o pierwszej samodzielnej brygadzie spadochronowej. To była główna idea tego przedsięwzięcia. Stworzyliśmy zupełnie nowe podejście, zupełnie nowy pomysł, który łączy w sobie i troskę o groby polskich żołnierzy, niesie ze sobą ogromny ładunek najnowszych badań historycznych. Chcielibyśmy upowszechnić wiedzę o polskim wkładzie w operację Market Garden, ale także przede wszystkim opowiedzieć lokalnej społeczności polskiej i szkockiej jeszcze raz tą historię poprzez biegi, poprzez wspólne chwile zadumy nad polskimi i brytyjskimi bohaterami, którzy walczyli w operacji Market Garden. I gdzieś to wszystko jeszcze było inspirowane jedną rzeczą. Pamiętam, kiedy podczas obchodów w rocznicy wybuchu powstania warszawskiego czytałem mnóstwo wspomnień powstańców i dowódców powstania warszawskiego, którzy do ostatnich chwil wierzyli w to, że pierwsza niezależna brygada spadochronowa wyląduje na wsparcie walczącej w Warszawie. We come here every year, so I've seen his name on the thing, but this has brought it all to light, you know, because having people from his original regiment here to talk to them is, is great. And, and also to have the British equivalent of the parachute regiment sort of brings it all together. I will look at this in a new light each year because I now know much more about the general. And I'm very happy to continue to commemorate General Sobowski and the 1st Parachute Regiment Poland. The Polish community in Fife are hugely important to Fife and I go back uh, as a youngster to when a lot of the veterans returned uh, from the Second World War to Scotland uh, and many of which uh, were part of General Zabowski's Airborne Brigade. We have generations of youngsters, uh, many of whom are present tonight, who are also now born and bred Fifers, yes, with Polish heritage, uh, uh, but what they have brought to this community is unmeasurable, it truly is. And if it was not for General Zabowski and people like him uh, and training troops here, and then eventually those, those troops coming back as veterans from the war and settling, they would not have left anything but the legacy we have today, and it's huge. For me, it will be in my mind to visit of the place uh, where the General Sikorski gave the name of the first independent parachute brigade for the General Sosabowski. For me, it's a historical moment. His lessons about how to be uh, a good paratrooper is still alive. He's uh, still living legend in the 6th Brigade. I have lectured quite extensively on Operation Market Garden and the 1st Airborne Division's actions in, at Arnhem uh, in September 1944. I have a, a reasonable knowledge and I was more interested because actually I knew less about the Polish because I never had a chance to sort of interact with the Polish uh, brigade or as regards the battle. So um, the last, you know, the last two days have been fascinating and, and really very interesting indeed. I had no idea there were so many Poles living in Scotland and I mean clearly their relationship particularly with this part of Scotland in Fife and Leven and Largo and, and in particular became very strong. I think it's wonderful that you're commemorating those events as, as you are over these last two days. Na początku wszyscy wystartowali sprintem. Potem jak już tam się zaczął las, tak w połowie przestali niektórzy, ale niektórzy po prostu biegli do samej mety. 
Momentami było trudno, było bardzo stromo. Były kamienie i jak się zbiegało z góry, można było prawie się poślizgnąć. Chciałem zrobić sobie jakiś challenge. Sixth Airborne Brigade uh, continues the tradition of the 1st Polish Independent Parachute Brigade and uh, the commander of the 1st uh, Brigade, General Sosabowski, is a patron of the Sixth Airborne Brigade nowadays, so we couldn't miss the opportunity to join the celebrations once we have received the, the invitation for that. For this moment, the, the main place where we are commemorating the 1st uh, Independent uh, Parachute Brigade is uh, Arnhem and especially Drill, where the, the brigade fought during the Second World War but actually Brigade was born here, in Scotland. That's a kind of unique experience to be able to visit the same places where they trained so many years ago. What I would remember the most is the Largo House, the place where the first Independent Pursuit Brigade uh, HQ was located. Nowadays this place is a little bit abandoned, but I hope that we'll be able uh, to visit the place again one day and, and it will be renovated. This is the place where the General Sosabowski was working where he spent the most time when he was here in Scotland. So the plan is to uh, involve more soldiers of the 6th Airborne in the next years, not just the next one, but, but the next year's uh, commemoration. And I hope that we'll be able to make it a kind of part of our annual plan to send some soldiers from the gate to visit these places, to walk through the Sosabowski path. And uh, it will help us to, to link the legacy of the 1st Independent Parachute Brigade with present-day Polish Army paratroopers from the 6th Airborne Brigade.